In the last two weeks, I have been around, uh, I was counting six journalists in different, last night at the uh, information committee, Tim was there and, and uh, Brian Clark, I saw him come in and Patty Guerrero was there, they're all journalists. And you know, with this, the homeless thing that we're working on, I've been talking to the, the uh, reporters and stuff, and I, I, it just, it feels weird to be that close to, to journalists, but you know, I just have to roll it, I guess. <laughs> but today, Mike Dunbar is, is here, and I want uh, Tim to introduce him, but I, I have appreciated Mike's uh, editorials throughout the years. I don't always agree with him, but I really like the way he researches and goes through it. But on this water deal, Mike is, is dead on, so I just wanted to it kind of give that pre-introduction. Richie Media, and good afternoon. It's my pleasure to introduce today's speaker, Mike Dunbar. In our business, we would say Mike has ink in his veins. He started as a carrier at age 12 in Lexington, Kentucky, and has been in the newspaper business his entire career. After graduating from the University of Kentucky with a degree in communications, Mike landed his first journalism job at the Jefferson Reporter in Jefferson County, Kentucky. He served as a general assignment slash sports reporter and photographer. From there, Mike held various reporting and editing positions in Virginia, Florida, and moved to Stockton before joining the Modesto B as the sports desk chief. Uh, he's held various positions at the B, including business editor, content team leader, assistant managing editor for images and information, associate opinions editor, production manager, assistant editor to sports and features, finally found something he's good at. Then in 2014, Mike became the regional opinions page editor for the Modesto B, the Merced Sun Star, and the Los Banos Enterprise. Mike considers this the best job in the building, and I'll tell you from my chair, I can't argue with him. Uh, he has absolutely embraced this role. Mike's one of the most respected opinion editors in the West and has received numerous honors, including two prestigious Best of the West gold medals recognizing quality and impactful journalism west of the Mississippi. The role of opinions editor is often misunderstood. The late Wall Street Journal editor Robert uh, Bartley wrote that opinion pages deliver the news of ideas while the other departments of the newspaper deliver the news of events. This puts Mike in a unique position with a unique responsibility. A recent article regarding, regarding opinion pages said this, if you disagree with an opinion piece, that doesn't mean that it's wrong or fake news. It's intended to generate discussion, maybe convince you of a different argument or even persuade you to take action. I'll tell you, I'm very proud of Mike. Whether you agree or disagree with him on an issue, know that he approaches every editorial with thorough research, the highest level of journal journalistic integrity, and a sincere effort to influence action that contributes to making this region a better place. Mike, Mike has tackled many issues over the years hitting them head on and never shying away from what he believes to be right. Mike is fiercely independent and not afraid to take a position different from others, even in our own company. He's, he's not afraid to take on others in the industry as witnessed by his column Friday, where he aggressively takes issue with the Los Angeles Times position on the state water issue. Water is one of the most critical issues of our time, and Mike has been at the center of this discussion. Mike has a passion for this important topic and is very well studied. I'm pleased that Mike is here today to share with our club his thoughts and his learnings on the topic. So it is my pleasure to introduce and turn it over to Mike. Thank you, Tim. I gotta lower this a little bit, I think. <laughs> but once a significant portion of the Sacramento River, which again is 80% of what flows into the Delta, once that is flowing 
a large part of it is flowing beneath the delta, what's going to keep that salty bay water from rushing in all the way to Stockton? Well, I think the state may be counting our rivers for that.